Our magnificent seven myth-busting hopefuls Science. are testing the idea ah. that finding a needle in a haystack really is as difficult as the idiom implies. <laughs> Basically, the whole foundation of this thing could be some sort of ramp. We could set up a distribution system where we could just stack every treatment we want. It's time to go to work assembling their assembly line, a giant vibrating ramp with two lines of rare earth magnets, a blast of hay separating air, and finally a pool to let the needle sink. Welcome to test day. You all still feeling confident that you can bust this idiom? Yeah. Yes. I'm real confident in our rig, but this is still one ton of hay. It's not gonna be easy. John and Alan feed the conveyor belt from the top. Martin is guiding the fluffed handfuls of hay down the ramp past the magnets and fans. And Tracy searches the pool for any heavier than hay needles. Everyone has their eyes peeled. All right, hold on real quick. Let me check the magnets for needles. Okay. Nothing yet. No needles, but there is encouragement for blue. Hey, Kyle, this thing's working so well, it's separating out the wheat itself. Oh. Both the vibration and the wind just blowing away the stalks. And the only thing that can fall through is the dense wheat. So you think that when a needle comes through, the exact same thing is going to happen? Yeah, but we're going to have to sift through wheat now to get to our needle. It's a needle in a wheat stack as well? Blue Team's rig also functions pretty well as an auditory torture device. I, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Right now, I think it has a pretty good chance of finding a needle. Check it out! What? What? Here. What? what? Do we get one? Got one. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, number one. This is why you never give up. This is why you never give up. I am freezing. I've been standing in this water for what seems like forever. And finally, the fruits of our labor. We found one. We freaking found one.